Welcome everyone, my name is Jeff Smith and today I'm going to show you how to find columns in your database. The tried and true way to find anything in the database is to use SQL. So if I were to select from DBA tab calls, and I used a like predicate, And I don't know for sure that it's uppercase, although it should be. I could also say just to force it. And this will take a second. Okay, so I have three column names that have this text in it. And I'm pretty comfortable with our data dictionary, so that's not that hard for me. Um, Although if I want to go open and explore one of these objects, I now have to go find it in our connection tree or type it up here and control click into it. And I'm lazy. So I want to show you an alternative way to find things in your database. So if you click on the binoculars button or if you go to view, find the DB object, which here we go. Again, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to click the button. This opens a new panel. And this is a search mechanism for your connection. So I'm going to choose my connection. And what schemas do we want to search? Now, I don't want to search schemas owned by the database because I just want my stuff. And so I'll trim it down a bit. The point here is you can search everything with a single click or you can come in here and be very specific at the search kind of depth that you want. Object types. Now, I'm not looking for objects named something. I'm looking for uh, columns belonging to a view uh, or a table of a specific name. So I'm going to uncheck object types, but I could search across both at the same time. I'm going to check columns, and I'm going to do the same search, and I'm going to say go. And this will take a second. The, the amount of time it takes to do the search is going to be dependent on the search depth. So here we go. Here are my search results. It found three objects in about three seconds. I'm going to pin this so I don't lose it. Um, and you'll notice that the search string is also highlighted here, so it's very obvious as to why uh, these objects have been um, found. Now, if I oh, click on uh, one of these, it'll actually open that object for me. And here I can see my column name that satisfied that search. Now, if I want to do a slightly different search, uh, maybe I want to find uh, imp. You'll notice that I'm wildcarding this. I don't have to wildcard if I don't want to. The search results um, are organized by schema, then by object type, and then you have a hit for each. And imp is very, very common. You'll notice that I still have the original search. That's because I pinned the editor. If you don't pin these as you go to do searches, um, you'll just have the single search result. And if you want to compare searches and have searches side by side, you just do the new document tab group trick. And again, these are object navigators. So if I want to go open this view, I just double click on that view. Actually, I think you double click on the column. Yep, and it'll open it. One last thing to note, your search history is in here too. So I can see where I've searched for imp and tweet wildcarded. And it also remembers the search depth. So the particular schemas 
and uh, the particular object types are remembered, so you don't have to go in there and toggle those things back and forth. So that's today's tip. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, happy SQL Dev.